Hello guys, my name is Srinidhi. I've been working with an academy for a few months now. I teach English grammar on that platform. You guys can download the Unacademy learning app on your phone and follow the English lessons or whatever you want to learn from that app. In this lesson, we will be learning how to put a sentence, which is in simple present tense, in active voice to passive voice. Along with it, we will be learning the sentences which are affirmative in nature from active voice to passive voice. And so with interrogative sentences from active words to passive words and also negative sentences. I hope this video helps you. Thank you. Hello guys, welcome to today's lesson. So uh, this course is all about active and passive voice. So active and passive voice under different sentences, like we've seen so many subdivisions under present tense, past and future tense, right? So this one I'm going to do in detail where we're going to do how to put a sentence in passive voice under simple present tense and uh, other tenses uh, will be the following lessons, okay? So this lesson is all about active and passive voice using the simple present tense okay so let's get started so uh, what is active or what is passive voice so an action of a subject in relation to an object okay so any action of a subject in relation to the object is expressed in two ways that is either an active voice or a passive voice okay so the meaning under these two different ways remains the same whereas the structure of the sentence changes so if you guys are wondering what's a sentence what's a structure please do go back i'm sorry go back and watch my other videos in which I have explained in detail about all the different types of sentences and i suggest you to watch the tenses video also before starting this because uh, you know it's very important to know how the tense is formed before knowing how to put it in passive voice okay so so as we said the meaning remains the same whereas the structure changes for example i write a letter here the subject is i write is the verb and the object is a letter okay so so that is active voice always remember in active voice the subject is in the beginning the verb is followed by the subject and the object is always at the end whereas a passive voice starts with an object okay so the uh, the subject and object interchanges their place in active and passive voice okay so the following sentence is in passive voice that is a letter is written by me so here the subject is i so i changes to me and the verb is right so in the simple present tense you will put the verb in the past participle past participle form along with is or am or are okay and then a letter object remains the same you cannot change an object okay so as i said active voice is subject verb object passive voice is object verb subject okay example i eat an apple an apple is eaten by me so i eat an apple is the simple present tense so when you put that in the passive voice it becomes an apple is eaten by me okay subject i turns to me eats the past participle form is eaten since it is uh, present simple present the um sorry hold on okay so here you can see is oh crazy so you can see is so an apple is eaten by me so this is simple present tense is is always present so for the first person it'll be am uh, second person is that's what we've learned right i am you are he or she is we are they are so that conjugation if you remember this tense will become i mean this formation will become much easier so subject i turns to me verb eat eaten in the past participle form object apple apple remains the same you can never change an object okay moving ahead so in the simple present tense again a few more examples he sings a song a song is sung by him so a song is singular so is sung by him so subject he changes to him so here the subject is there so in the passive voice it comes to the end an object this is an object at the in the passive voice it comes in the beginning so sing is the uh, verb in the past participle form it becomes sung and object is a song song remains the same okay so you'll have to know where is the subject where is the verb and how do you place it so another important thing is we know how to put it in passive voice but we get confused as to 
how to put it because the tenses play a very important role so i cannot go and say he sings a song i cannot put that in passive voice like he sang a song a song was sang by him no absolutely incorrect you will have to respect the rules because uh, without rules your grammar is absolutely uh, incorrect okay so when it's a simple present tense you will take the simple present verb that is is or are or am plus the past participle form of the verb okay it's very very important that you follow this rule moving ahead another example she cleans the house where is the subject she what is the verb clean what's the object house okay so object comes in the big beginning of the passive voice in the passive voice so the house so clean is the verb in the past participle form of clean is cleaned so since the house is singular i take is the house is cleaned by her so the subject comes in the end she will turn into her okay subject she turns to her clean past participle form is clean object is the house so always remember you can never modify an object object remains the same moving ahead so this is a, a table uh, which shows the changes of the subject subject is i you he or she we and they so how does it change in passive voice we know that subject comes in the end so how does it change so i will change to me you will change you will remain you she or he will change to her or him we us they them okay i suggest you guys uh, form an example with all of this so that it it becomes very very easy for you guys to remember okay so if you guys form an example let me know in the comment section so that we can correct it together if you have any doubts that is okay moving ahead now that we saw the simple present affirmative form how do you put a negative simple present tense into the passive voice okay so first one he does not sing a song that this is simple present negative form how do you put it in passive voice so like usual the object comes in the beginning then you have the verb and then the subject so a song is not sung by him so here he is the subject it changes to him song comes in the beginning song does not sing it becomes song is singular so we write is and not is placed between is and the past participle form so that's how you place not this is getting very tedious okay so not oh lord okay so not is placed in between is and sung so that is is and the past participle form of the verb okay so he turns into him sing becomes sung a song is the object it remains the same and not is placed between is and the past participle form okay moving ahead now that we know how to put a verb i'm sorry how to turn a sentence into that is in simple present to simple present passive if it is a negative you know how to put it in passive what if it is in the form of a question that is an interrogative sentence okay does he sing a song here the question does he sing a song i'm so sorry i keep scratching it out does he sing a song okay so um here he is the subject here the subject comes at the end song is the object comes in the beginning so uh since it is present simple we use is a song so that's the object is a song sing past participle is sung is a song sung by him as simple as that always remember you'll have to retain the question mark okay interrogative form passive voice also remains i mean the question mark remains intact okay so subject he turns to him sing changes to sung object is a song and since it is simple present we use is okay i hope it is clear now so this is an exercise here are a few sentences i want you to change them to passive voice first identify if they're an active voice if they're an active voice change them to passive voice okay now starting off uh, you guys can take it in the form of a test pause the video do the test uh, let me know if you have any doubts in the comment section the answers are in the following slides okay following slide i'm sorry only one slide contains the answer so first one i feed the dog simple person i subject feed verb object dog so in passive voice it becomes the dog is fed by me so subject i turns me dog comes in the beginning the dog is 
fed feed past participle fed is fed by me okay she does not attend the classes subject verb in the negative form classes object so how do you put it in the passive voice the object comes in the beginning so the classes here classes are plural so i'll use are oh wow uh, the classes are not attended by her she comes at the end so she turns into her so the classes are not attended by her attend past participle attend okay next one uh they throw the dust in the dustbin so they subject comes at the end uh, what dust so that's the object so the dust is thrown by them in the dustbin throw past participle form past participle form is thrown past tense is through okay know the difference between these two now question formats does he write a letter so the subject is he object is a letter so object comes in the beginning is a letter written by him so the past participle form of write is a written past tense of write is wrote okay there are if you if you guys remember the lesson where we've done about the perfect tenses i've given you a set of words that have a different uh, past tense form and the past participle form so i suggest you guys go back and take a look at that once because it's really helpful next one did they paint the house so they is the subject house is the object so object comes in the beginning in the passive voice so is the house painted by them so paint painted past tense and the past participle remains the same okay next one we turn off the lights when not in use so subject we what do you turn off light so that's the object object comes in the front so the lights are turned off by us when not in use okay turn past tense and the past participle is turned i mean turn off turned off does not change okay so here is the uh, slide which contains the answers and thank you so much for your time uh, i i'll see you guys in the next lesson in which we will learn how to make a sentence which is in simple continuous form into simple continuous passive form okay thank you so much until next time